In, in today's show, we have a story on Apex Legends, the state tournament, and Seaman Reacts. Apex Legends has been super hyped recently. We go to Cody for more information. From the upsurge of battle royale games like Fortnite and H1Z1, another one comes from the pile called Apex Legends. But what makes it different from the others, however? Um, it's, it's a lot different than other games because it's got a lot smaller amount of people in it, and it's a lot more fast paced. You have your, your dope little abilities, like I use Rage, she's got her cool little portal, so you know, I like to flip around and do my good stuff there. Um, it's, it's really fast paced. It's only got three people except four. And uh, the guns are very futuristic, so whenever you go in, um, they're different. In Apex, you're always put within a squad with two other people, and before each match, you choose a character that has abilities and perks exclusive to them, like Overwatch and Team Fortress 2, which is the biggest difference from the other Battle Royale games. Um, I think it'll definitely influence other games because people will see like how popular it's getting and how much it's blowing up right now and people will think, oh, we should probably take away from what they're doing because they're doing it right. With good teamwork, communication, and skills, you might just be the next Apex champion. Cody Kaiser, SVTV. I still think Tetris 99 and Minecraft Hunger Games are the best Battle Royale games. Now for the announcements. Tomorrow during seminar, Math Club will be selling pie for pie day. They will be $3 a slice. The forensics team competed at Silver Lake this weekend. They took second overall. Congratulations to all the members. The Topeka Prom Closet opens on Saturday. It will be held at Northland Christian Church. All donations are accepted and anybody can take from the closet. Now over to Allie with sports. When I say I want, you say pie. I want pie. I want pie. When I say yummy, you say pie. Yummy pie. Yummy pie. pie. Apple, rhubarb, peach, or pear. Any kind, we don't care. I love pie. Yeah, I love pie. Oh, we love, 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 love pie. On Wednesday, March 6th, Math Club will be selling pie for pie day. Bring your money and come down to the comments during seminar travel time to buy some pie for $3 a slice. I will choose. I will choose. I will choose to respect my body. To rise above. To put myself first. 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 I will choose not to fall victim to this cruel trap. It's my body. It's, it's our body. body. I will choose. To keep my future in my own hands. And not in the hands of people who will harm it. I will choose to say no to nudes. I will choose to ignore, delete, block, unfriend, unfriend report, sexting. All these people in the room. I will choose to end this crisis. To not let last year's events repeat themselves. You don't need to see all of me. To know, love, appreciate me. Trying to make you understand to all the I will choose. I will choose. We, we will, will choose. choose. I will choose. To send love. 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 I will choose to send love, not nudes. I'm not gonna die tonight. All these people. Tomorrow, both Megan Skoke and Riley Fisher are signing to the University of St. Mary's. Congratulations, ladies. Tonight is the parent meeting for anybody interested in trying out for cheer. It will be held in the library at 6. The actual tryout will be on the 23rd. The girls' basketball team competes in their first game of the state tournament tomorrow. The game is in Emporia at 3. Ethan caught up with Mr. Dietz to learn more about it. Hey, Vikes, it's Ethan, and I'm here with Mr. Dietz to talk about tomorrow's girls' state game at Emporia University. And uh, students are wondering whether or not they can get excused from school, or is there a way that students can go to the game while school is still in session? Well, that's a great question. We hope students will go down to Emporia and support our girls at state tournament. 
um, they can get excused. They just have to have one of their parents call them in, and then there'll be a sign-up sheet down at the uh, arena, and there'll be several administrators that will have a clipboard and a sign-up sheet, so you'll just sign in when you get there, and then it'll be excused when you get back to school. But you, you first just treat it as any excused absence, have one of your parents call in to excuse you. The admission is $6 for students, and it is where the Emporia State University basketball teams play. It's not at Emporia High School, it's downtown. And then is there anything that uh, students cannot do, like rules or what? Oh yeah, well you have to follow rule 52, just like we do at our games. I, I really feel like if our students act the same way they've acted here at Seaman, they've done a great job and we've been very proud of them and they need to be proud of themselves. They have fun but they do it in a positive manner. And if they just act like they've been acting and behave, um, we're gonna be fine. It's just a fun atmosphere and it's great that our girls have qualified and we can be there to support them. All right. Make sure you guys go support your Vikes tomorrow. Now back to your anchors. Go out and support the Vikes. Now over to Josh for the weather. Good afternoon to you. It was a cold start to the day once again, but we are tracking a gradual warm up in the days to come. So these darker blue shades kind of lift off to the northeast and are replaced by more greens, blues, and even yellows in the days to come. And that means warmer temperatures by the time we hit the middle of the upcoming week in the 30s tomorrow and even warmer than that by the time we end the week. Then on Saturday, we're tracking our next storm system, likely to bring some rain and even a few thunderstorms to the area. With this in mind, the Storm Prediction Center has highlighted this large yellow region in a slight risk for severe weather for Saturday. Currently, the best potential seems to be just to our east, but we'll have to watch this one closely. Could end up being our first severe weather risk of the season. Of course, this week is Severe Weather Awareness Week as well, so coming in at a good time. And now, if you're going to see TV 7-day forecast, you can see that we do get to 41 degrees on Thursday. How about 46 for Friday? Still calling for the 50s on Saturday with those storms around, especially in the morning hours, and then even low to mid-40s continue into your spring break as well. Now, Allie and Cody, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Next time, we'll have a story about Don't May Cry 5. Tomorrow, we have a story about the blood drive and the freshman podcast. For now, we're leaving you with the new Seaman Reacts. Have a great rest of your day. I'm nervous. Okay. I'll let you control that. Take a guess, Shrek. I know what this is. What? Frozen 2. Aladdin. Oh, it's Aladdin. What? With the lamp. Aladdin. <gasps> I've never seen Aladdin before. Just putting that out there. You really don't know who I am. Genie, wishes, lamp, none of that ringing a bell. Is that Will Smith? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what you just watched? The trailer for Aladdin. Aladdin. The real people Aladdin. It looked like Frozen 2 at first. Do you think people, or do you think you will enjoy the old classic Aladdin if you've seen it? Or the newer one better? Stop making cartoons into like these weird looking movies. Leave it as a cartoon. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I wasn't a huge fan of the original, so I can't say I'm too excited about this one. No, the original is always better. Yeah, but then I feel like I'm gonna like this like new version better too because it's just there's probably gonna be more action or something like that. I don't know. I've never seen Aladdin. I feel like this one would be like a lot different. You know who would have been a perfect genie? Shaq. Off of Shazam. Seen that movie? No. <laughs> you know, Shazam? Um, or do you mean... Kazam. Oh, Kazam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
have any thoughts.